Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the fundamental theorem of calculus. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. f of x is equal to the integral from x to x squared of a t squared minus 8t plus 11 dt, and we need to find f prime of x. So let's use our formula here. f prime of x is equal to d over dx of our integral from x to x squared of t squared minus 8t plus 11 dt. All right, got that all set up. First step, let's start from the inside. Let's take the integral of t squared minus 8t plus 11. Just baby steps here. f prime of x is equal to d over dx times, take the integral here. Well, that's going to be a t to the third power over 3 minus a 4t squared plus 11t. And we're integrating this from x to x squared. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now, I'll put it over here so it's a little easier to see, f prime of x is equal to d over dx. Our rules still apply. We're going to plug in x squared first and for t, and then we'll plug x in for t and we subtract it. So x squared in for t, we have an x squared and to the third power over 3 minus 4 times x squared to the second power plus 11 times an x squared. Subtract when we plug in x in for t, and that's pretty simple. x to the third over 3 minus 4x squared plus 11x. Okay, not too bad. Let's make sure I'm on the right path. Didn't make any silly mistakes, and I'm good. So let's go simplify this out first here. Combine my like terms. Well, this subtracting uh, gets distributed to all parts right here, right? So we make sure when we keep that in mind, this minus sign goes to all these three parts. So we're simplifying this first part. x squared to the third power is an x to the sixth over three. Minus now we have four x squared to the second power, so we have four x to the fourth power plus 11 x squared. Distributing that out, minus an x to the third over 3, Ma plus now, right, all parts, plus negative, negative makes it positive, 4x squared, and the last part is a minus 11x, okay? Again, make sure I'm on the, the right path here, don't want to make a mistake here. So simplifying that out, we have f prime of x here is equal to d over dx. All right, let's combine our like terms, we can reorder it. Nothing else is to the 6th power, so we have x to the 6 over 3 minus the next one's x, this one here, nothing else to the 4th power. 4x to the 4th plus or minus x to the 3rd over 3. Then we have the squares, that's the only one that combines, I believe, 15x squared, right? 11 plus 4 is 15. And then minus the last part, 11x. Oof. So after all that, we need to take the derivative here. And this one, it's not too bad. Derivative x to the 6th over 3 is a simplified 2x to the 5th power. Minus derivative 4x to the 4th is a 16x to the 3rd. Minus x to the 3rd over 3 is just an x squared. Plus 15x squared uh, derives to be a 30x. And then minus 11x is just minus 11. And after all that, we have our f prime, capital F prime of x, and that's equal to a 2x to the 5th minus 16x to the 3rd power minus x squared plus 30x minus 11. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.